An East Side family took matters into their own hands after waking up in the middle of the night to intruders in their home. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. This all happened in the 7500 block of East 35th Street. One would-be burglar is now dead. Three others are on the run at this hour. Our crime bear reporter Steve Jefferson is in that neighborhood tonight. Steve? But John and Andrea, people in this east side neighborhood are shocked because they usually don't see this type of violence in this area. We are still waiting to find the, learn the name of the burglar that was killed in this incident as the family and the neighborhood comes to reality about what happened here. Red and blue police lights lit up this east side neighborhood after an early morning home invasion went all wrong. People like Shirley Maxey knew something had gone terribly wrong. She came home from work to a chaotic crime scene on her street. Oh, Lord, what's going on? And to see it like lit up like Christmas over here and all that. And then I saw the yellow tape. My heart just really, I was scared. Metro police say shortly before 1 a.m. Wednesday, a man tried forcing his way into this house. The noise woke up the family, so a relative used deadly force to stop a burglar trying to get in. I just heard that my brother has shot somebody and we need to get over here ASAP and we, I jumped out of bed and came straight over here. Paramedics took the would-be burglar to the hospital, but he later died from his injuries. Witnesses say a second man outside jumped into a car with two others who sped away. Shirley hopes they are brave enough to surrender in light of their unexpected outcome. Still, people on her street will continue to look out for each other, especially since they don't usually see this type of violence so close to home. You're trying to come out uh, to get a lick or get some easy money, and now one of your friends, a family member, they're gone. And you might as well turn yourself in because they're going to find you. Metro police, they're working to find the three other suspects involved in the attempted burglary. If you have any information that could help in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously and earn a cash reward. That telephone number is 262 TIPS. Live on the Crime Beat, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Another very unsettling case. Steve, thank you. And neighbors tell us that break-ins aren't normally a problem, so we looked into the crimes in that neighborhood using our interactive crime map at WTHR.com. We pinpointed today's robbery with a red circle. Now take a look at the surrounding area there. The blue box is another recent burglary. The green boxes mark thefts from vehicles, and the red boxes indicate aggravated assaults. You can learn about what crimes are happening in your area by going to WTHR.com and clicking on the crime map.